welcome back dear friends uh, today's discussion topic is depressurizing utility in high seas and uh, in this tutorial you are going to learn how to set up this uh, depressurizing utility to depressurize a hydrogen line in an adiabatic mode uh, this utility is very important uh, in the aspect of safety for example in oil wells uh, the gas pressure increases and uh, this uh, scenario is actually the adiabatic uh, uh, adiabatic uh, mode of uh, depressurizing and uh, uh, the high pressure sometimes could cause fire so it is very important to assess the uh, safety aspects uh, using this utility so today we are going to practice uh, by uh, using this utility to depressurize a hydrogen line uh, the flow rate through the line is 2k mol per hour at 100 bar pressure and 10 degree c and um, uh, we want to depressurize this uh, this line that has a volume of 2 cubic meter and the thickness of 25 millimeter and um, uh, the uh, valve specification is also given for depressurization that is the cv value that is 0.8 and area for flow is also given for this valve and we want to depressurize uh, uh, this much gas at, at this pressure in one minute okay and uh, we have to find out the depressurizing dynamics of this system so let's move to the high seas to solve this so now we are in high seas software first step is we have to define the component that is the hydrogen only one component we have selected uh, the next step is we have to specify fluid package for that uh, pink rubinson would be very nice option because it's pure hydrogen so this way this package will deal it in a very nice way so next step go to the simulation environment and select a material stream and uh, drop it into the simulation canvas and maybe you can change the name uh, hydrogen and then specify the parameters that you have so the temperature is 10 degree c so 10 degree c pressure is 100 uh, bar and flow rate is 2k mol per hour and the composition is pure hydrogen put one and then the stream is fully specified so next step is go to the home tab at the top ribbon and then uh, select blow down and depressuring and then add and add a depressuring uh, utility then this new window will appear and we have to define the inlet to this uh, utility that is the hydrogen one the stream okay and uh, after that we have to specify the volume of the line that is 2 cubic meter here and uh, then in the left hand side go to the heat transfer so the just check that the operation mode should be adiabatic that is already adiabatic uh, and the ambient temperature here is 25 but in question it's been uh, saying that it's 20 degree c so we will change it up to 20 degree c and also in conduction tab the thickness of uh, vessel is 25 millimeter and uh, insulation there is no uh, information related to insulation we are just inserting zero if you have uh, insulation then you can add the value here after that in the left hand side go to the valve parameters and uh, from that this is the main valve that is being used for depressurizing and uh, we want to size this valve in a general way uh, vapor flow equation is general equation and the cv value is given that is 0.8 and area for flow is also given that is 315 millimeters square millimeter okay after that go to the operating condition 
and time step size second we are going to be more precise taking 0 0.05 second and uh, the depressuring time is one minute that is uh, 60 second okay so let me check it is one minute yes it's one minute so now we already specify all the uh, given inputs next step is go to the performance tab and create a strip chart so in uh, a default uh, strip chart there are more than 25 or 20 uh, different outputs or variables uh, but we are not going to use this one because uh, it will be difficult to understand all the information so we are going to create a new strip chart okay for that just press on add button and from here select depressuring uh, dynamics and then uh, vapor at tpl1 and then we are going to assess uh, temperature and uh, pressure and the last one is mass flow okay so then press done and then display these values so when you have this uh, 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 display or graph but you can see on y-axis there is only one variable that is vapor mass flow but we need all three uh, variables on y-axis how we can do that just right click on the graph go to the graph control go to the axis and then click on axis display and also automatic uh, auto scale okay after that go to the time axis and uh, here set up a logger uh, number of sample is saying 300 but we are not it's too low so we are going maybe 2000 and the sample interval is 0 0.05 seconds okay so now we set up the data logger according to our own specification okay so now we are ready to run this simulation for that just go to depressuring utility again open it now we just have to run the simulation and uh, here it says running okay so this one is the main uh, strip chart that includes all the parameters so we are not going to uh, check this one instead we will see this one uh, so i'm just increasing this so So, well, you can see that uh, how uh, mass flow rate, vapor pressure uh, is being changed with passage of time. So, the valve is being uh, opened and when it's opened, suddenly pressure is going down as well as the temperature is also going down because uh, uh, it's kind of a high pressure expansion. So... Uh, this is the way how you can analyze uh, 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 the uh, depressuring behavior of your system. So I hope you understand uh, this tutorial and like it. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Stay tuned. Until next video. Bye-bye.